Give it all praise and honor, glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rachachodash, the born and study of apostles, and the elders of Great Millstone. And as I say, Shalom to the oculus out there pushing the sincerity and the truth and the sound doctrine. Um, you know, real quick video. Uh, you can see here, we was actually talking about a little bit about this yesterday. Um, the brother, uh, Ashan, you know, his tail name is um, Ashan Prince of Power, I believe. Um, you know, the brother yesterday, you know, bought this. Uh, topic up and I was thinking about it this morning. I was like, you know, why not just do a little, you know, a short little video on it So, um, you know, I'm, you can see here I'm not going to read this stuff out loud because number one, it, you know, it, it was probably gonna get flagged, you know, so and um, You know, I, I feel I'm too good to be reading stuff like stuff like this out loud. So no, I'm not gonna do it Um so you can you as you as you're seeing here, um, you know you can read for yourself as I'm scrolling through. That's why I'm doing it. Um, you know you can you can see here, right? So and then um, these beauty product products like lip gloss and stuff like that. You can see here the names of them, right? The names of these, right? Uh, yep. Like I said, I, you could just scroll through the through this. We obviously want to get some scriptures. I'm just like let, let y'all, you know, read read through this, right? I mean, you can't. You're not. You, you know, I, I this is on this is on Google, so you know, I I didn't. You know, you can't make this up. You can't make this up, right? And as you're reading through this. You know, always remember that this is the curse that the Lord said was going to happen to us. There's also Esau putting stuff out there. Obviously, you know she's, you know when 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 when, and they call they call her, they call this a boss lady, talking about brown brown booty hole. That's a that's that's the new that's the definition of being a boss now, is having a dirty ass. Uh, I don't. I, <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. I remember, you know, back in school or whatever. If somebody was rocking like that, like they ain't like they ain't never wipe or whatever, they would get absolutely joked. They wouldn't have they wouldn't have a second, a split second of peace. They'd be like, man, what the you know? And now you got children singing and rapping about about them having a dirty ass now right for some reason and you know you could keep reading through this because as you're seeing now you got all of these people you know talking about yeah we support it yeah i support it that's how you know it's she's set up to do whatever they all set up like these rappers and stuff like that they all set up to do whatever they just set up to do what they what they're going to do okay um so yeah yeah all these yeah, you know, all these people uh supporting it and obviously it's going to happen right because again it's, it's meant to destroy it's meant to destroy the children right and you got um kamala up there talking about we need to we want to reach we want to reach the young the young people right we want to reach the young people Having uh uh the the stallion up there, whatever her name is up there, twerking and stuff like that. You know, anybody in their right mind would ask, does that have anything to do with politics? Does that have anything at all to do with politics? You talk about reaching the young people. Let young, let the young people be the young people. What what, what does a five year old know about know about politics, man? I mean, come on now. So anybody in that right mind would be like that 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 literally has nothing to do with <laughs> with politics. And now you got this. And then you got the children, like I said, rapping and singing her songs, right? And you got teachers being being fired for saying that that's not good. Again, <laughs> all designed to destroy. When we tell you, and I'm not understanding. How these people say, number one, we're in a new covenant. Anybody out there that says we're in a new covenant, 
Look at this, man. I'm going to save. Well, I'm probably not going to say. Well, I may I may save this article for truth's sake. Next time somebody tells tells me that we're in a new covenant, I'm going to show them this, and you and you explain to me if we're in a new covenant or not. Number two, you say that 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 uh this isn't hell. Hell is underground, burning burning in a, in a fire forever. Honestly, I'm gonna be honest with you, man. I feel like a lot of people will be better off doing that than being here, man. Right? At least in 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 the burning lake of fire, you know what's going on. Up here, you don't know what in the world is going on, man. You don't, you don't, you can't, you can't tell, man. You got beauty products like this, and it's being out, it's being exposed to the children. There was a lady recording in the in the in your average local grocery store, and they had they had candies shaped for kids, shaped like condoms. You know. You tell me if we're in a new covenant or not, man. Because I'm I'm going to automatically tell you no, we're not. And if and I'm going and another thing I want to tell you is you need to be locked up and put away somewhere for even to, for even thinking like that, remotely thinking like that. That's what I'm going to tell you. This comes to show you, and I'm you know everybody talk about we have every everything has evolved, evolved into evolved evolved into to stupidity. Look at this, man. I mean, look, you you see this? <laughs> Come on, man. Y'all need to y'all need to get real out here, man, for real. Anyway, let's uh let's get some scriptures. Okay. Jeremiah chapter two, verse twenty one. It says, Yet I have planted thee a noble vine, holy a right seed. How then uh art thou turned into the degenerate plant? Of a strange vine unto me. We are the degenerate, the degenerate plant. The house of Israel is the degenerate plant. And as you can see, there is nothing ladylike about this. There's nothing manly like even about this. Like there's nothing hum, hum, human, humanity. <laughs> you're a human. If you're a right, minded human being i don't care what nation you are at the, at, at, what i'm talking about in this with this subject if you're a like-minded human being whether you be israelite more by uh, uh esau or whatever you would know that something is wrong with this which means you're not even you you again you need to be put away but again as we understand the, this is the work of the elites so everybody keeps talking about these presidents and stuff like that <laughs> These presidents have no power over those elites, the ones that's putting these presidents in the office, man. They don't have any power, right? This is why you don't really see us talking about, well, president so-and-so talked about doing this and president so-and-so talked about doing that. It's not on their time. It's never on their time, <laughs> right? So we are... We have devolved. We have the humanity in general has devolved. Do you see those heathens come over here? I'm talking about those those uh those so-called Arabs and, and those those Indians and all of them. They come over here from their countries and you do you see the stuff that they do? They get completely Americanized. Next thing you know, their 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 little girls is in in in, in tight spandies at two at two years old. Like, come on, man. They cry about wearing long dresses and hair coverings and face coverings is oppression. That has nothing to do with being oppressed. How exactly is that oppression? Versus you wearing the tightest thing, right? Showing your whole body to the entire world. I'm not understanding how how that is free from oppression. I'm not understanding that, right? It means you just you just want to you just want to do what you want to do, and that's not a good spirit to have. Because then you get mad when men look, men ready to you know you know try to talk to you or whatever. You get mad about it for what? You came over here, <laughs> you came over here. You the one showing yourself off, man. 
men are going to look. That's just what it is. And there's nothing you could do about that. Now, we also teach to have discipline, obviously. Me, myself, I don't, I don't, I'm not chasing women. Right? But that's just me. You know what I'm saying? That's just me. You got some jigs out there that, <laughs> but even though I'm not chasing women, I'm obviously going to look, I am a man. That's just what's going to happen. But it's a turn off because it's so desensitizing and it's just like so what uh, you, okay you gotta you gotta you gotta big behind you gotta mm -hmm. move behind and which i'm not it, or really all into the big oversized huge behinds or whatever you know what i'm saying but she got a behind you she got behind she got big breasts and this that it's so much man and it's just like it's getting played out and now it's getting to the point where it's getting to this point which we we all knew that it was going to start getting into this You know what I'm saying? So us as a people, right? <clears throat> Especially start with Israelites, because even though humanity has has devolved, you still to this day you still don't see. This is how you know who the Israelites are. You still to this day don't see all those other nations doing stuff like this, man. Putting them putting themselves out there like this. Where do you see those small hats over there doing stuff like this, man? That calls themselves the holy people. When the, when the, when in the Bible, it clearly says the holy people are going to be doing stuff like this. Right? Let's continue on. We're going to further prove it because it said uh, we're a degenerate plant. Right? They're not living like complete degenerates. We are. <laughs> we don't have to force it. That's just what it is. Right? Deuteronomy chapter twenty eight verse twenty eight. The Lord shall smite thee with madness and blindness and astonishment of heart. Who is this talking about? Uh, Deuteronomy 28 and 37 and thou shall become a, 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 an astonishment right what is an astonishment a proverb and a byword an astonishment is an appallment an astonishment is something that's just like we could get it real quick I mean you know we, we're here so why not right when you look at astonishment you know, it says a waste horror or appallment Waste, appalling, horror. So it's the same thing. Right. So something that's just absolutely disgusting, but it's a, but it's a, it's so disgusting that it's a spectacle. That is a spectacle. Again, anybody in their right mind, right? Anybody in their right mind would say, yeah, okay. Well, this is not, this is a product I ain't going to buy. But the thing is, like we were saying yesterday, they pray over this stuff and it makes you buy it. As, as some, some, you know, years ago, everybody that see came out with stuff like this. Everybody would say, well, nah, I mean, if you ask somebody years ago, you time travel years ago and you, you asked, um, would you, would you buy a lip gloss that's named yellow discharge? There, most people would be like, nah, I ain't buying that. But fast forward to today, because it is a spiritual thing. You fast forward to today, you got a lot of people that are going to buy it. There's a reason why it's, why, why it's even a thing, because these at least know people are going to buy. You know men and women are going to buy this. Right? Because it's a spiritual thing. See, years ago, those same those same people would have said, no, nah, I ain't buying this stuff like that. They pray over this stuff, man. They got social media. That's all a spell. This is all spiritual. We are in a spiritual fight. This is a spiritual thing. This is a lot of this is that spiritual part is a is is something that a lot of you other Israelite camps don't understand either. That this is a spiritual thing. Okay? So, yeah, we're going to be a proverb, an astonishment, a proverb, and a byword among all nations, whether the Lord shall lead thee. So, you know, you got these, a lot of these other nations look at so-called black people as a, as an astonishment, a proverb. That's why everybody talk about us the way they do. 
because of stuff like this. This is why everybody talk about natives and Mexicans like they do because of stuff like this. We're all an astonishment and a proverb and a byword, man, to these other nations. Right? They make it clear that they don't like you. It's our people that are docile. Okay? Amos chapter five. Again, this is all prophecy. This is the, you know, I can't, I can't, I can't, we can't stress this enough, man. This is the importance of going into prophecy. Very, very important, man. Very important. Amos chapter 7, verse 17. Therefore, thus saith the Lord, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh thou thy wife shall be an harlot in this city, and thy sons and thy daughters shall fall by the sword. What is what, this sword? This sword here, right? This sword. What, what is part of the sword? I'm not just talking about a gun. Let's talk about social media. It's talking about, you want to know what part of the sword is? This is a sword. When you think of a sword, you, 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 you're thinking of an instrument of destruction. That's why it can be a gun. But it's not always talking about a gun when it talks about a sword. Right? No. Nah, no. Nah. Again, that's part of it. But another part of it is social media. Right? And these, and these products that's being pushed out there and stuff like that, man. Right? Your political system. That's all part of the sword. That word, that, that, uh... Israelites are going to fall by. Okay. So that's all part of it. It says, and thy land shall be shall be divided by line, and thou shall be shall die in a polluted land, and Israel shall surely go into captivity for this land. Now, for all you people out there that talks about that's talking about uh you know um Deuteronomy twenty eight. Is not talking about us. Who else would it be talking about then? And it's mainly it's mainly our people that says this that says this stupid stuff, man. Who who else? Look at this. Look at this image, and you tell me who else? Who else? Deuteronomy twenty eight is talking about. You know what the Lord is doing here? He's making it plain upon the tables. As to who the Israelites are. And as time goes on, things oh, it's only gonna get worse from here. I don't think believe oh, <laughs> we ain't see the worst yet. Right? I don't I don't I don't believe that this is the worst yet. As the, as the time goes on and things start getting worse, the Lord is going to make it known as to who the Israelites are. And he's also going to make it known as to who the elect is. Right? Who has the truth and who doesn't? This is why you see these other Israelite camps bugging out like they are. You got so splits from from uh, happening from Sakari. And then, and now they branch it off and naming themselves Genesis. And now now they now they just rogue and just going wild. They trying to target every camp, mainly Great Millstone. They just doing they just doing whatever. So that's just another, another, um, uh, and they're, oh, and they're out selling t-shirts and fr shirt fringes and then half of them sell the shirt and a fringe separately. It's get, it's getting wild, man. It is, it is, it's becoming a, it, it's already been a joke. It's already been a joke. And the Lord is constantly, constantly. Constantly, constantly just exposing these groups out here, our people in general. This is why we always say the Wadi Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai Bahashim, Rechakwadash. For giving us the light to see. We say this every time at Passover, man. Right? The scriptures also says there must be heresies found among you. How? Why? It's because in that same scripture, that's how the light is shown. So there has to be different camps and branches and stuff like that. We had so we had some jigs break off from this camp and started their own thing, and they fell within two years, I think. 
this, that. Maybe it was a little longer than that. But they fell eventually. And the elder called it out because they, they, they didn't want to come up under order. So many camps, so many branch it off and stuff like that. Just another, just another avenue for more, for more entertainment, more distraction. Now you got the deacon once again talking about GMS got white boys in there. You over here talking about what GMS got, and your in your man, you and your man got removed from Sakari. Well, your man got removed from, from Sakari, and you left. And you over here trying to talk about what what another camp got, man. You need to get your shit together, man. I'm just not understanding this this whole this whole world. That's why the Lord got it. That's why the Lord get ready to come back and burn this place, man. You know what I'm saying? You got this displayed on the screen. You got other Israelite camps. You got branches. You got uh 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 uh. What can I call them? What can I call them? Uh uh, generic Israelite camps, I guess. I don't know. I don't know what you call these 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 guys, man. You know the ones that branch off. From 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 one camp to another to another to another, you know what I'm saying. You got this scarf of run around on people's comment boards. Talk about you got kicked out from every single Israelite camp. Then that means you got problems, bro. You got some serious problems if you getting kicked out from every single Israelite camp that you went to. You got a problem. People say camps got problems. Sure, if you want to see that. But if you got this individual getting kicked out from every Israelite camp. You have a serious problem. Anyway, you're kind of going off topic, but it kind of st still st ties into the topic of what we see in right here. Okay, so anyway, giving all praise, honor, glory to Yahweh, Shimei, Shai, Shalom.